Boxplots are a very common tool in data visualization to show how your data is distributed. Imagine that you have a numeric variable like the weight of penguins. You might be interested in what's the lowest weight of the penguin, what's the highest weight of the penguin, what are the smallest 25% of the data, what are the middle 50% of the data, and what are the highest 25% of the data. A box plot can show you this. In fact, that's exactly what it shows. But there is a crucial flaw. Let's check out what a box plot does. First, what it does is that it computes key quantities like the lowest and highest value and the points where 25% of the data are lower than that and then the point where 75% of the data are lower than that. Once these values are calculated, the box plot can be assembled by just connecting the dots. First, you draw a line from the first to the second point, then you draw a box and then you draw another line from the 75% point to the 100% point or the maximum. And finally, you can then highlight the median. The problem with that is that the underlying data can look wildly different even if two box plots are the same. The thing is, as long as these key points, 0%, 25%, 50% and so on, as long as these key points are the same, the box plot will also look the same because the box plot only takes these key points into account. And that's exactly how you can end up with a whole bunch of box plots that look exactly the same, but the underlying data is completely different. Think about it. The way to compute these key points is very simple. You just sort all of your data that you have in ascending order, and assuming that you have approximately 100 points, all you have to do to get these key quantities is to just take the first, the 25th, the 50th, the 75th, and the 100th point because at the end these are already in ascending order and all the other data in between these couple of points does not matter for the box plot. The data can vary as much as they like as long as they stay within the range of the two key points that they are put in between. So that is why it's generally not a good idea to solely rely on box plots. Instead, you can additionally use something like violin plots that try to show the underlying distribution and not just the key quantities. Or you could even go further than that and go for a rain cloud plot. These plots combine box plots and violent plots with another histogram that shows the data more explicitly. And the way these three things, box plots, violent plots and histogram are arranged, it kind of looks like a rain cloud, hence the name. Or another thing that you could do is you could plot the points explicitly instead of using a histogram. Either way, you need to come up with a way to enhance the things that box plots can give you with something that can also show you the underlying data better. Whether that's violent plots or rain cloud plots, the choice is yours, but the point is don't rely too much on solely box plots. If you're interested in learning more about this and how to implement these kind of things with ggplot in R, then you might want to check out my data visualization course for which a link should pop up right about now, or you could check out my ggplot tutorials, the playlist should also pop up right now. In any case, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.